that if you have to spend all week telling everyone how great you are in order to make your business work, it can be hard to turn that off. And I think that's maybe why quite a lot of photographers end up, you know, as raving egomaniacs. It's because they've had to spend all their time telling everyone I'm, you know, I'm, I'm the guy you should be using. I'm the girl you should be using. Yeah. Um, it's usually not the female photographers who become the raving egomaniacs. No, no, it's not. No, um, no. But, you know, I think that, and that is a part of it. And after a while, you maybe start believing it. That's a very diplomatic way of putting that. <laughs> are, are there any aspects of the job that you don't like? Because I suppose everyone always says, you must get this all the time where people go, oh, you're so lucky and it's amazing what you do. But are there any aspects that are maybe not so favourable? I don't, I mean, I, I love all my time. Yeah, I, I guess the challenge is balancing it with family life. And yeah. I think, yeah. and I, you know, it's it, it, it sounds like, a you know, very much a sort of, you know, a, a, a luxury problem. But actually, I think it's 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 a real challenge because, you know, when I was starting out, I would have you know leapt at any opportunity to have more time in the field and and have the opportunity to shoot. But once you become settled down, and particularly once you know now I'm a father, um, that really changes your perspective. In that it's every every day you're away from home is a big imposition on your relationships with your family. And in my case, you know, my wife works as well. And if I'm away from home, she has to restrict how many hours she can do in her job. 